was an interest in breeding goats and people wanting to buy them. To me, they were like a new dog, and they're very entertaining. And then now I make homemade uh, goat's milk soap, and uh, we'll be milking and having a dairy operation. These are little scooters. And there really was no place on Prince Edward Island to visit animals, and so we thought we should give that a try. And having animals on your farm and going in a petting farm, you have to remember that you have people on your property, so you have to like having people on your property, and I don't mind that. Maybe 15 when we first opened as far as goats go. Now we have uh, 75 and counting. <laughs> Knowing that some of uh, children never ever get to touch an animal to come and get to feel, uh, touch, learn. Uh, educating meaning also too that this is their, their happy place and you can tell that the goats are definitely happy and have people coming in. <laughs> Showing them how to milk a goat was pretty fun. So the kids get to actually hold the teat and uh, square a little bit into a cup. So they, they, they think that's pretty cool, and I do too. Oh, best thing? Their personality. Their ba. Um, when I first got them, I don't know, it was pretty, pretty new, pretty interesting. But my first girl there that's behind you is Lucy, and her knowing that she knows her name. Babies, there's so many things about goats that I can't really explain that are just... Wonderful. They have uh, outgoing personalities. They have, uh, depends on the breed, the long floppy ears I'm kind of partial to. And uh, just watching them, if you watch them, they're just, they're happy. And when they're happy, you're happy.